Over the course of Godzilla's 65 years, we've seen many people don the monster suit. More than the average fan may know, actually, but there's three suit actors in particular who come to mind when people think of Godzilla suit actors. Those would be Haru Nakajima, who played the original Godzilla, as well as various other monsters throughout the Showa timeline. Then, there was Kempachiro Satsuma. He originally played Hedera and Gigan in their debut films, as well as Gigan in Godzilla vs. Megalon. He would come back and go on to play Godzilla throughout the Heisei series, starting in 1984. Then finally, we have Tsutomu Kitagawa, who played Godzilla throughout the Millennium series. These three men are all amazing suit actors, and Nakajima in particular pioneered the idea of suitmation. They would all go on to shape the necks and Godzilla as a whole throughout the entire series, each bringing their own spin on the monster. But there is also other suit actors from the beginning of the series as a whole who aren't as really well known, although some may know of them, and some who are completely unknown to some of us. So today, let's get into the forgotten Godzilla suit actors. The first of these forgotten suit actors would be Katsumi Tezuka. He actually played the original Godzilla alongside Haru Nakajima, but he was not the primary suit actor, and Nakajima portrayed Godzilla in the majority of the scenes. After the original Gojira, Tezuka would go on to play Anguirus in Godzilla Raids again, while Nakajima would play Godzilla by himself. However, the two would share Godzilla's role again in King Kong vs. Godzilla and Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. It's interesting that he didn't play Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Mothra alongside Nakajima, however, there aren't any sources that I could find which state why. But, Tezuka would actually play other monsters outside of Godzilla. He would play the Mega Nulon from Rodan, Mogura from the Mysterians, and Varen in his debut film. However, what is interesting to note is that both Mogura and Varen are two monsters Nakajima also played, so aside from Godzilla, Tezuka uh, shared the role of Mogura and Varen alongside Nakajima. And finally, he would play Mothra in her original film. What's also interesting is, like other suit actors like Nakajima, Tezuka would play minor human characters in the films he also portrayed monsters. The next two I'll be looking at are Seiji Onaka and Hiroshi Sakita, who are a pair, as they shared the role of Godzilla in Son of Godzilla. The two were specifically chosen due to their height. To create a nice contrast between Godzilla and Manila, a taller suit actor was needed to step inside. Onaka is an interesting case due to his acting credits. He has the most acting credits for a human character throughout all of Toho's Showa Monster Boom, but Godzilla was his only suit acting credit, and choosing him was probably a poor choice, however, as Onaka would injure his hand during the filming, and Sakita was needed to replace him. This was obviously a better choice as Sakita actually had suit acting experience, and all of his roles were against Nakajima. The roles he did play before playing Godzilla were Ebera in Ebera Horror of the Deep, Sanda in War of the Gargantua, both Mechanicong and Gore Source in King Kong Escapes, and although not Godzilla roles, after Son of Godzilla, he would reprise his role as Gorosaurus and then play Aguirus in Destroy All Monsters. After Godzilla vs. Gigan, Haru Nakajima would retire as Godzilla and a new suit actor was needed. You'd think it would be Kenpachiro Satsuma due to him playing Godzilla's enemies for three different films, but instead we would have three people who would play Godzilla for the remaining three films. The first being Shinji Tagaki, who would play Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Megalon and this was actually his only suit acting credit and one of his only acting credits in general. But after Tagaki, it was Asao Zushi. Zushi played Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla and played the King of the Monsters along with numerous terror beasts throughout the TV show Zone Fighter. However, as Zushi played many of the terror beasts in the series, Godzilla would be played primarily by Taru Kawai. Kawai would go on to play Godzilla in Terror of Mechagodzillas, which would round off the Showa series. But outside of Toho and Godzilla, he was a suit actor at Super Rare Productions where he worked on Ultraman's Ace, Taro, and Leo. And two of my favorite Choju, Velocron and Vakashim were characters he played. And another interesting key trait that he played was the Tyrannosaur from The Last Dinosaur. And speaking of Ultraman Ace, now with the Mill Creek release, you can see some of that acting in action. Moving into the Heisei series, Kenpachiro Satsuma played Godzilla throughout all the films, but there was one version of Godzilla that he didn't play, that being the Godzilla source from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. That was played by Wataru Fukuda, who would go on to play Mechagodzilla and Mogura in the following films Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 and Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Another Toho film that he portrayed a character in was Utsuno in Orochi the Eight-Headed Dragon. Yes, yes, I will mention Godzilla 98, of course. 
because it is somewhat relevant to this video, but let's get on to it. The monster had a suit that really wasn't used, but it was worn by Kurt Carly. The American Suit actor also played the Lycans in the Underworld franchise, which were done by Totopolis Studios, so Carly was accustomed to playing strange, lanky incarnations of classic movie monsters, I guess. And what's also actually interesting to note is that he did meet Haru Nakajima, and apparently forgave him for the travesty that 98 was. But that's neither here nor there, I guess. Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack is always looked at as the special film of the Millennium series, and this Godzilla was not played by Kitagawa but instead by Mizuho Yoshida, who is one of two suit actors who played the Mother Legion in Gamma 3, the Rebirth of Mothra antagonist Deskidor and Dagara, and Zetus in Gamma the Brave, and Raiga in DC Monster Raiga. However, he also played himself in the film, appearing alongside the supposed Mothra twins when Mothra comes over the city. Moving into Reiwa era material, we have motion capture artists TJ Storm and Mansai Nomura, who played the legendary Godzilla and Shin Godzilla respectively. TJ is probably a little bit more well known due to how much he and the other motion capture artists from the MonsterVerse films have interacted with the community as opposed to Nomura, but they are both interesting in that they did not wear suits, however, both had small attachments put on them while they were doing some of their motion capture. That being Nomura wearing a Godzilla mask in his time as Shin Godzilla, and Storm having to have a Godzilla tail attached to him at some points while on the set of G2014. Finally, I want to mention Kenya Saito, who is the suit actor behind the Godzilla appears in Tsukagawa for the Eiji Tsuburaya Museum. This would make him the third person to portray the 54 Godzilla design, and right now the current Godzilla suit actor technically, as unlike Nomura, this was an actual suit being used and not motion capture. There is also the Boss Coffee commercial, which I believe uses the same suit, however, the actor who portrays both Godzilla in the suit and Haru Nakajima is not known, and from my research I could not tell if it was Saito or not because there was no pictures of him, but I most likely assumed that it was since I believe it is the same suit, so most likely he had experience in that suit to begin with. But there was also the public 54 Godzilla suit that appeared in Godzilla's birthday in a big event in Tokyo. I'm not sure who was in that suit either. I, maybe it was Saito as all of these events took place around the same time. So maybe he was always donning these various different suits as the suit that appears in Boss Coffee, the suit that appeared in the little video for the AG Super Eye Museum, and then the public events are all different suits. There's at least three different 54 Godzilla suits that are used for different events and productions and all of that. And aside from just the, the public event for Godzilla's birthday, there has been various other public events that Godzilla has appeared in. Sadly, there is little to no information about who played Godzilla in any of those live events, and I could do some more digging, maybe update the video again in the future if there ever came to light who specifically was in those suits. I do know that Nakajima did don the fake Godzilla slash water suit that appeared in Terra Mechagodzilla and Godzilla again versus Mechagodzilla. So he could have been in those suits during public events, but we do not know, sadly may never know. But if I do find more stuff, I will be sure to update this video with a new upload. But that's all guys, I hope you've learned something, and without further ado, I am Zimzilla, and I will see you guys next time.